It's a movie Monday, and over the weekend, The Many Saints of Newark, which is the prequel to one of the best TV series of all time, The Sopranos, had its release. No Time to Die is finally opening up on the big screen in theaters this week, proving well worth the pandemic wait. And Jake Gyllenhaal is a one-man show in The Guilty. What is the address of your emergency? I just want to talk to you. Okay, I'm hanging I'm out. Just stop for a drive, sweetie, okay? From the 2018 Danish thriller comes The Guilty, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, who plays a cop demoted to a 911 call dispatch center. When he gets a call from a woman in danger, he must confront the situation with only a phone. The Guilty takes place over the course of a single morning, and the call operator, Joe Baylor, is the main focus for almost the full 90 minutes. The majority of the action in this movie takes place in just one setting, making Jake Gyllenhaal's performance crucial and spot on. I need you to pull the handbrake hard. Pull it. All right, so I think we've seen this before in Photo Booth, but Jake Gyllenhaal really dives right into this role in The Guilty of a man on the verge of a breaking point, and you as a viewer are going through all these emotions with him. There's a lot of intense scenes. Actually, the entire film is pretty stressful to watch. It was shot in 11 days with a stripped-down crew and cast, and Jake Gyllenhaal really is at his best. All right, let's talk about The Sopranos. Like millions of you, I too was sitting down on a Sunday night and could not wait to watch another episode of The Sopranos. Everyone was on the edge of their seats when Tony, Carmela, and their kids ate onion rings in a diner while listening to Don't Stop Believing, and then there was an abrupt cut to black. When I was a kid, guys like me were brought up to follow codes. Hey, jerk off. What'd you say? What? <laughs> The Many Saints of Newark is the long-awaited prequel film to The Sopranos, starring Michael Gandolfini, Alessandro Nivola, Leslie Odom Jr., Vera Farmiga, and Ray Liotta. The film follows Tony Soprano's mentor and uncle Dickie, set against the backdrop of the 1960s Newark riots and crime culture. Michael Gandolfini steps into his father's shoes to play young Anthony Soprano. David has just created such an incredible character that um, I was so excited to be able to, to embody such a fun and complicated character. As far as your nephew goes... I'm listening. Stay out of his life. All right, Soprano fans, so we all can admit it. They just don't answer the questions that we've always wanted to know, like how Tony Soprano came to be. Instead, it focuses on the storyline of his uncle, Dickie, who is Christopher's father. And although it might satisfy your needs, I just wanted more. And I guess it was just hard to do in a two-hour film. I also felt that there was missing those prickly psychology therapist scenes and the really bad jokes or maybe just James Gandolfini. All right, from a gangster film to a super spy, it's time to check out No Time to Die. It's Daniel Craig's fifth and final outing as the epic Bond, James Bond. In No Time to Die, we find the super spy enjoying retirement, living the good life in Jamaica. His piece is short-lived until world events catch up to him when his old friend from the CIA turns up asking for help. The mission? To save the world again by rescuing a kidnapped scientist that turns out to be far more treacherous than expected. The mysterious villain, played by a creepy Rami Malek, is armed with dangerous new technology and is perfecting his poison. In a roller coaster of events and sentimental emotions, Bond is there to save everyone around him, the world, and himself. Oh, 
Oh, this movie was so good and well worth the wait. Yes, we are gonna miss Daniel Craig as 007, but did you ever think that you would have to be wiping a tear away when you're watching a Bond film? There are so many sentimental and emotional moments throughout the film, and there's some sweet tributes too. For example, Dame Judi Dench and Sean Connery, just to name a few. A great farewell to Daniel Craig, who played 007. But now the next question is, who will play Bond next? That's it for your Movie Monday. We'll see you next time. Brought to you by Mr. Sunshine Popcorn. Discover their growing selection of unique and delicious sweet and savory popcorn flavors. Order now online. <laughs>